Hello everyone, this is Dr. Swapil Mane, a gynec endoscopic surgeon working at Saidam Hospital Rahori, District Ahmednagar, Maharashtra, India. Guys, today I would like to discuss very important topic that is TLH in mild to moderate endometriosis. This is very a common encountered issues in TLH in gynecologic setup. Basically, all of you know endometriosis, a disease with different behavior. In this disease, a surrounding tissues can be irritated, eventually develops the scar tissue and adhesions and abnormal bands of fibrous tissue that can cause pelvic tissues and organ to stick to each other. Just we are talking as in our TLH, Saitham technique of TLH. I have taken the cornwalls near about 1.5 to 2 centimeter away from the uterine surface so good coagulation is needed i am doing the surgery with advanced bipolar a uh, bipolar cutter a good coagulation is needed the same instrument can coagulate and same instrument can cut this is ligation mode if you hold loosely it can coagulate if you hold tightly in small bites it will cut see very vascular uterus in uh, endometriotic implant i think this is stage to stage two to stage three endometriosis now i'm getting the cut the round ligament now i intend with the broad ligament just separation of two leaves of broad ligament is being done yeah just trace the both leaves of broad ligament so that air will go in and there will be a uh, ease in the u fold dissection see instead of going anteriorly because it is densely adhered and very vascular so i prefer to go posteriorly first this step can be bypassed in previous Siren scar, a big myomas, severe endometriosis, a severe PID, severe fibrosis. See, POD is stuck up with the endometriotic implants, fibrous tissue, the subfertility, infertility, chronic pelvic pain. These are the common issues for this patient. That's why the repeated surgeries, additional lysis, and it may increase the operating time, bleeding, and ch higher chances of wound infection. So, my screw is inserted over the fundus at the middle. Now, right side is accessible. So, uterovarian ligament is fully coagulated and cut. Good coagulation should be done till the air bubbles disappear, tissue get blanched. Charring should be avoided because charring may cause the excessive fog formation and charring may increase the risk of superseded infection in postoperative phase. Now uterovarian ligament is cursed. We, we should cut the this uterovarian ligament and follow it into just perpendicular to the IP ligament. That should be the rough idea, a rough protocol. Now I am coagulating the round ligament on right side. Left side corners, broad ligament and right side corners are very accessible structure. So immediately intervened. Now, in bunch, it is coagulated. See, whole chunk is taken here. A proper coagulation is going on. Uterus is very vascular, very tough tissues. 
due to chronic pathology and posteriorly we see the totally fibrous POD might be due to fluid level due to hemorrhage in uh, this patient's reproductive age group. Patient's age is near about 43 to 44. She presented with the pain in abdomen, chronic pelvic pain, irresistible to the conservative management. Now, we should cut the anterior V fold just 1.5 to 2 cm below the arcot line or may differ as per the case. Why we should go first for the posterior in such a cases? Because we should get the idea of the uterine artery and plane separation, plane identification of UV fold is easier. That's why I'm going for the anterior UV fold. See, only right hand instrument can work out here. Just cut nick the entry lip of the broad ligament and UV fold, just peritoneum. Only three structures, doctors, entry lip, posterior lip of broad ligament and UV fold should be cut with the pure cutting mode on the bipolar cord. That is very important. See, the tortuous vessels are seen. It's very difficult. TLH for the learners because wherever we catch there is bleeding wherever we retrice there is chronic fibrosis I hope I am having the left hand back of forcep that is very comfortable instrument very bad it is Cutting of UV fold, 1 to 1.5 cm below the arcuate line or we can pick up the UV fold so that gas will sweep in and there is a natural plane separation. Yeah, I have given the knee in the middle and just lift, lift, stretch and cut is the principle here. Good lifting will allow gas to enter in. Stretch is the basic principle of cutting in bipolar cartery. So stretch is very important. Always, whatever structure you want to avoid, traction, counter traction. I already told these things in my many previous videos. Our center provides the endoscopic training to the budding gynecologist. We have trained about more than 100 candidates. You can join anytime the training academy. Yeah, very tough tissue here. Plain separation is very difficult. Lift cut, lift cut. We'll go till the right round ligament at its mid. This is a combination of erythromyosis and endometriosis. See, lift cut only peritoneum by pure cutting mode. When there is water, when there is a excessive blood, when there is a tough fibrous tissue in endometriosis, when there is excessive coagulation, there is formation of excessive fog. And excessive fog formation will increase the operative time and also alter your vision or may dim the vision. So excessive fogging should be avoided. That is very important for all of us.
see I'm getting the view fold in grade 4 endometriosis we may go for the retroperitoneal dissection cutting the just when near the round ligament right round ligament whatever the work on the right side can be done on the left side there are four four techniques such is called sidem technique of tlh this is work is going on, going on from the left side now i am lifting the middle part and cutting the central part of uv fold or central pillars of the uv fold now is the time for us for the venous coagulation or coagulate the vessels to try and vessels i have taken the bipolar simple bipolar for the venous coagulation because with the advanced cutter there is chances of accidental cutting of the uterine artery for the beginners so bipolar using bipolar this habit is very important achieving the full coagulation and hemostasis see your full coagulation till the bu bubble subsides till the beam of the machine sounds complete charring of the tissue is allowed here over coagulation is allowed here so that uterine artery can be thoroughly coagulated and cutting will be easier see the dissection of uv fold is a continuous process see very hypervascular vessels are seen over the anti cervical surface anti uterine surface and tortuous vessels are seen here see i am lifting the uv fold so that further maneuver will be easy cutting of the broad ligament posterior lip of broad ligament that is landmark for us that space is landmark for us for the uterine artery coagulation that segment of uterine artery near about 1 to 1.5 cm should be coagulated thoroughly and uh, just above uterine artery venous coagulation should be done now let us see there is accidental rupture of the uterine artery now the pick up the uterine artery and coagulate it it's a simple phenomenon here yeah now my muscle position is changed my muscle i have put in second left hand port on third port we have put an cutter posterior pop up the broad ligament on right side should be cut left hand is in skin test position very bad pod is here and cutting the posterior of the broad ligament as you know doctors endometriosis is one of the most common gynecologic disorder but also one of the greatest challenge for the gynecologic surgeons 
guidelines should be oriented approach extensive experience of surgical techniques there should be a inter interdisciplinary approach these are the prerequisites for the successful treatment detailed history of individual adequate diagnosis and special surgical skills are indispensable for the diagnosing endometrioma and for pre operative planning and surgery see the posterior lip of broad ligament totally cut now some fibers of accessory fibers of broad ligament and accessory fibers of ue4 are being cut coagulation cut should be done this cutting of the uterosacral is the most important step that ureter is lateralized and that is the most important step now the effort is going on to coagulate the uterine artery on the right side full coagulation as i said very important factors to consider include individual risk such as risk of recurrence as well as factor intrinsic to disease risk associated with surgical techniques very important actually for both from the surgeon and patient's perspective actual manifestation of disease and the associated extent of the planned surgery are the important pre operative considerations but these are the factors which are the most difficult to assess pre operatively lines of resections are primarily decided by the extent of disease see full coagulation of artery we don't want any chance here guys so over coagulation is permitted at till the beam of the machine sounds we should be doing the coagulation that is the most important step to devascularize the uterus despite adequate diagnosis it's very a broader phenomenon of endometriosis primary intervention is very important there is, there are some unexpected occurrences during the surgery there may be intentional involvement so as i said the multidisciplinary approach is very important maybe the non obstetric involvement of urethra is important problem is commonly tackled using one or two approaches flexible surgical strategy with the patient given a maximum information about all eventualities or two step surgical compatible approach yeah no slowly cutting is going on in small bites in single plane till we get a vault till we get a cutting of vaginal tissue very ultrasound is very poor in detecting endometriosis generally the mri should be the best one if you suspect any endometrial cyst yeah there are different type of endometriosis peritoneal endometriosis ovarian endometriosis metacarpal cystitis is very important to expose the correct cleavage plane while if you want to preserve the fertility then preserving ovarian hilum is very important very important doctors colorect colorectal surgeries are the common endometriosis specific risk division surgery segmental resections are the required after the first week of primary surgery there are in 4% of cases we have seen the complications also one study has shown that the late functional impairment which took the form of either severe constipation or pathologically increased frequency of daily stools in 52% cases which had a segmental resection now vault is totally cut as you see now the time for us suturing again the first bite from the uterosacral posterior lip and anterior lip remove with the left hand 
immediately orient it with the right hand and put it in right leg fossa away from the vision and stretch the thread by left hand towards the right leg fossa now the second bite is at the middle second bite is at middle after second bite pull both the threads and tie it to one two, two wraps one knot and one very simple like two wraps catch hold the smaller thread and tie it tight similar technique we is to teach the candidate by whole needle technique and by free needle technique covid 19 testing is mandatory before doing the surgery and pp kit is so mandatory for the surgeons we should take do almost precaution because covid 19 cases are in the rapid surge today see very nice because raw edges of valve may bleed so we should be very careful doing surgery there may be intermittent or a tight closure or uh, one or two stitches can be taken as per surgeon's choice but here in your hyperosphere cases we should be very careful while closing the valve In severe intermittent, as I said, the retroperitoneal dissection and the uterine artery coagulation at its origins are preferred, particularly the vascularity. Now, this is third bite. Uh, left third, thirty percent vagina, right seventy percent vagina junction. A deep bite, a posterior deep bite, and a superior bite, superficial bite. 